Stevie, Shamrock Rovers live on TV, Tallah Stadium. Great, great place for any footballer to go and show what they're made of. Yeah, exactly. Great venue, uh, lovely pitch, as you said, a great arena. Live on television, coming into a really exciting week now, three games in a week before sort of a, a little break. So boys have trained really well and we can't wait to get go up, go up the road and, and put on a good performance. Mm. I think you were asked this last week, in one sense, after the disappointment of the Pats game, is Rovers, you know, sort of the, the perfect tonic because we know how much a win what it would mean to the supporters and mean the people here if you beat them up there yeah exactly uh, it is any game after after a, a loss you want to get back on the horse as quick as possible train well and go and put it right uh, we're very disappointed obviously when you're level pegging and the team you're playing against go down to 10 men you expect to go on a minimum uh, get something out of the game and uh, obviously go out, go on and win the game but you know, we were really disappointed last week that the, we, we didn't really ram home that advantage and um, the only way you sort of get that out of your system is get, get back on the field, go and try and uh, ride a few things and um, as I said, there's a massive week coming up, nine points to play for. If we get a good good total off the back of them three games, we'll be, we'll be right in the mix. Yeah. Rovers are going into it themselves in the back of two defeats. It, it just shows you the, the competitiveness, competitiveness of the league this year. Yeah, well, like you look at last week, the top two were beaten. Um, and that's just the way the league's been. I don't know. We've said, I think there's narratives going around, but of like different runs of results, etc. But the fact of the matter is, everyone's been not too dissimilar from each other, of having good, good sort of little runs, poor runs. Um, that, that tells you that with how condensed the table is and we've been similar we've lost two of our last nine um, the last two weeks first half against Bowes played really well obviously it felt then like a little bit of a defeat giving up a two goal lead then last week we won all then them going down to ten men uh, losing the game later on um, obviously it was disappointing but we've lost two of our last nine as I said everyone's had sort of peaks and troughs in the league that's why it's so condensed and a few wins and yet you're bang in the mix and we're well aware of that as well we're not getting too despondent with the losses um, in regards or too carried away you need to just keep it it's a marathon not a sprint the league and we're, we're in touch in regards where we where we want to be in um, and a good week now will 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 we'll put us right bang there the pleasing thing from last week was the team sheet you look at the bench experienced experienced lads back in contention and coming into a week like this is probably the best we've been stocking into a three game week yeah exactly it's the healthiest we've looked now obviously the players coming back they need time to to get up to speed but from a training point of view and numbers it's it's the best we've been by a mile all season so that's great but again they'll get stronger and stronger as the weeks go when they're back and the group will get stronger and stronger as the weeks go so uh, delighted to have them back and we're really looking forward to going there with a strong squad tomorrow night we had some unbelievable nights up there over the years, but it's 2019's the last time Dundalk have won in, in Tallaby. Nice to set that set that right going into going into the summer break. Yeah, definitely. Look, at, obviously the last few years, not many teams have won in Talla. You know, they've been the sort of the best team uh, of the in the last three years. Obviously, won the league three years in a row. But you know, we've we've always had good spells in games uh, when we've gone up there. It's just about eliminating the the silly mistakes uh, 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 and you know having the confidence in ourselves to go and really be incisive and penetrate and I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow the players have trained well positive mindset and uh, can't wait to get it started mm-hmm.